probability of combined events okay, SSM mathematic form 4 dependent event and independent event example 2 page 246 to 247 Event A and event B are independent event if the probability of event A does not affect the probability of event B. Event A and event B are dependent event if the probability of event A affects the probability of event B. Let's see example 2. Identify whether the following combined events are dependent events or independent events and justify your answers a obtain a tail twice when a fair coin is tossed twice they are independent events because the probability of getting a tail in the first toss does not affect the probability of getting a tail in the second toss the probability of getting a tail in the first toss is 1 per 2 1 because there is only a tail in a fair coin Two means there is a head and a tail in a fair coin. The probability of getting a tail in the second toes is 1 per 2. Actually, the probability of getting a tail is always 1 per 2. No matter the coin is toes how many times, the probability of getting a tail or a head is always 1 per 2. B. Obtain a tail in tossing a fair coin and obtain the number 4 in rolling a fair dice. They are independent events because the probability of getting a tail in tossing a fair coin does not affect the probability of getting the number 4 in rolling a fair dice. The probability of getting a tail in tossing a fair coin is 1 per 2. And the probability of getting the number 4 in rolling a fair dice is 1 per 6. 6 because there are 6 numbers in a dice. 1 because there is only a number 4 in a fair dice. C. Obtain two pens of the same color. When two pens are taken out one by one from a container that contains three red pens and two blue pens without replacement, they are dependent events because the probability of getting the first red pen affect the probability of getting the second red pen. The probability of getting the first red pen is three or three plus two, so is three per five. 3 plus 2 because there are 3 red pens and 2 blue pens. 3 because there are 3 red pens. The probability of getting the second red pen is 2 over 2 plus 2, so is 1 per 2. 2 because after getting the first red pen, there are only 2 red pens. 2 plus 2 because after getting the first red pen, there are only two red pens and two blue pens. The answer can also be written like this, dependent events because the probability of getting the first blue pens affect the probability of getting the second blue pen. The probability of getting the first blue pen is 2 over 3 plus 2, so it's 2 per 5. The probability of getting the second blue pen is 1 over 3 plus 1, so it's 1 per 4. 1 because after getting the first blue pen, it remains 1 blue pen only. 3 plus 1 because after getting the first blue pen, the remaining pens are 3 red pens and 1 blue pen only. So the probability of getting the second pen is always affected by the probability of getting the first pen. In conclusion, they are dependent events. D. Obtain two cards with the same letters when two cards are chosen at random. Draw the cards labeled with the letters B, A, I, K, one by one with replacement. They are independent events because the probability of choosing the first card does not affect the probability of choosing the second card. The probability of choosing the first card is 1 per 4. 4 because there are 4 cards. 1 because first cards means we choose only a card. The probability of choosing the second card is 1 per 4. Or, because after choosing the first card, the card is put back. So, there are still 4 cards. 1 means 
In second times, they chose only one card. So the probability of choosing the second card is not affected by the probability of choosing the first card. So they are independent events. If you have any questions, please leave your comments. Thank you very much.